Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at simple interest and we're going to find a rate given a time in years. So take a moment and read the problem and then we'll solve it together. All right, let's read it. Anthony invests 9309 in a simple interest account for nine years. So right away, we're given the principal is $9,309. That's the amount we're putting into the account. And it's happening over nine years. So it's staying in the account for over nine years. So T in years is nine. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find, it says here, what interest rate must the account pay? So there is 12,157.55 in the account after nine years. So what interest rate? That's what we're trying to find. R is our unknown. Okay, and so what does that mean? What is this right here? This is, let's stick with yellow for things we know. All right, so this amount right here is, I'll call it my future value. It's what the money's going to be, uh, what's going to be in the account. I'm gonna leave out a dollar sign as well. It's, it's what's going to be in the account after nine years with a certain interest rate. So $12,157.55. Now, the missing bit of information is the interest uh, that we're actually acquiring, right? We, it's hidden here in the problem. We, get, we can find it. It's the second thing we've got to, the second unknown, and we have to find one of those two unknowns to solve this problem. So we want the other unknown again is the rate, but how much interest will there be? Well, the interest is going to be the future value minus the principal. So it's the $12,157.55 minus 9309 is that difference right there. So future value minus principal. And that will tell us how much interest is in the account. Okay, or has been added to the account. So here we go. So 12, 157.55, yep. Minus 9309. 2848.55. So 2848.55. That is our interest. Now we're trying to find a rate. How do we do that? Well, our original formula that we first review is that the interest you have equals principal times the rate times the time. And we are trying to find our rate. That's the missing piece. We want to get that all by itself. So you can divide by P and T on both sides. That will get R all by itself because P times T up here, whatever that is, some non-zero amount, assuming there's some money in the account and some time has passed, and we're dividing it by itself down here. So those will be the same things, they divide to one. And all that's left is R. So we're just saying, let's rewrite this in a different way. So no, use black ink. I like, to, I like to reserve uh, red for canceling out. Okay, so this is true. This is only true if R is the same thing as I over P times T. So I just wrote that in a different way. And now we're just going to plug things in. I, which is this number right here, 28, no, not green, 284855, that's our interest. So 2848.55. Point five five, and we're dividing it by what? Our principal times our time, which is nine years. Okay, so 9309 times nine, and this will be our rate as a decimal, but notice we want this to the nearest tenth of a percent, so let's solve this. Let's get our decimal. Okay, so what is that? 2848.55, the interest, divided by, now you want to have parentheses here, 9309 times 9. Now this is our interest rate as a decimal. Now look at this long decimal here. You're probably not going to write the whole thing. So you're going to say it's about 0 0.0339, I believe. Is that what I have? Three three nine nine nine. You can write a couple more nines in there, and the idea is that that is what it's written as a decimal, and that means it's going to be equal to about. That's a squiggly um, equal sign. Means approximately 
take this to convert it to a percent, multiply by 100. Like multiply that by 100, and now we'll have a percent. And this is what you want to round to the nearest tenth of a percent. And it didn't, it wouldn't matter in this case. Um, we had we wrote this out far enough. But I like to keep the exact value in the calculator and multiply that by 100, and then only round the last step. So that's going to be what is that? 3.4 percent. So an interest rate of 3.4 percent over nine years will get us this future value if we invest this principal. All right, I hope that helped.